What's going on guys? It is Wild Shine Yeshi here. One back to another FIFA 18 Korean World video. And today, guys, I'm gonna be looking at some players in FIFA 18 Championship, and I'm gonna show you who actually the best ones are. I've been using a lot at the moment. I've got several career modes going on at the moment, and especially a couple of League One Championship career modes going on. I think you know what? Let's just see what players actually stand out, and that's the reason I did a couple of career modes. And I've actually found some absolute beasts, and I want to share them with you. Is FIFA's been out for a little a while now, and I think you know what? These gotta be the players that you actually sign in your career mode. But before I tell you who they are, make sure you hit that like button. Of course, don't forget to subscribe for plenty more FIFA 18 videos. So a lot of players I will be sharing with you today are not actually on loan, so you'll be able to sign them within your first season because I've noticed recently that there are a lot of good players within FIFA, but your first season or so, you can't sign them because they're on loan. And then your second season, they're just worth too much and you can't afford to actually sign them. But anyway, let's get into our first one, which is McKay playing for Nottingham Forest, playing on our left wing, starting off at 72 rated and a potential of 81. 22 years old and will only cost you around 4.5 million and a 20 grand wage. So have a quick look at some key stats. As you would know for a winger is his pace. Above 90 acceleration, 88 sprint speed, 91 agility and 87 balance. And of course as well, which is pretty good, he has decent stamina and very good vision as well when trying to find that pass. But anyways, move on to our second player, which is Ollie Watkins, who actually plays for Brentford in the Skybet Championship. Like I mentioned, that's the league we're doing today. And he is another fast player with 78 acceleration, 85 sprint speed, 82 agility. And he does have finishing of 68. He is a winger again. So we are kind of sitting down that winger side at the moment. But we are trying to find some very good players for you guys. And I've been using this one. And down the wing, he is very, very good. He competes with uh, McKay quite often because I've actually got these two in my team. So I tend to play McKay on the right and then Ollie Watkins on the left. And they're both very, very good players. A year younger than McKay, though, at 21 years old. But unfortunately, he doesn't have four-star skills to beat past the defenders very easily. But overall, a very good player. Very good dribbling on the ball. And of course, this one, I would be shocked if I didn't actually mention it. I wasn't going to, but in the last FIFA... And the FIFA before, Ruben Neves was a player that no one actually heard of, probably in the English leagues unless you played FIFA. He was a very good hidden gem at 18 years old a couple of seasons ago. Now he's 20 years old in the championship with 86 potential, which is absolutely insane. He does have long passing of 83 and his short passing is the exact same. But his main attributes, right, he's a very strong player with 79 shot power, 74 sprint speed and stamina and a 75 long shots. So he is a very good CDM to actually have in your team because what he's going to actually do is going to defend really well and he's going to be able to get himself off an absolute cracking shot to have in your team he will cost you though around 12 million pounds which is quite a big hefty budget and of course you can't sign him until your second season unfortunately with our massive release clause but he's a very good player definitely worth the investment if you are a Premier League team maybe okay now let's move on to my fourth player which is a player I've actually used in my Blackman Rovers career mode. a lot of you will know about him but unfortunately injured at the moment which is something that I've noticed that he's been injured in a couple of career modes I actually have him in it is Ben Burton 84 potential starting off at 66 rated only valued at 1 million pounds and a wage of 5 K. Very fast player at 88 acceleration, 85 sprint speed. Decent finishing at 68 for a 66 rated player, so hopefully that will go up over time. But one of the big things with this player is that he's six foot one. He's still a very fast player. So the formation I play for Blackburn is actually a 4-5-1, and he plays up front on his own, and he is very, very good. Definitely a player to actually have in your team. But unfortunately, does become a little injury prone um, with broken ankles, sprained ankles, and that type of thing uh, very often. So I've noticed this happened twice within career mode. Wherever this happens after the first time it's happened, I don't know yet. But definitely a player worth investing in for that one million pounds okay now let's move on to another player that actually have in my blackman rovers career mode and i'm going to make this statement right now he's actually the best left back that you will sign in your career mode with value we're talking your potential current stats when you first sign him he's an absolute boss it is ryan sessignon playing for fulham in the championship valued at one million pounds and a six grand wage very perfect if you are a league one team something like down those lines because be able to sign him and you're going to dominate that league but acceleration is very good at 80 84 sprint speed 77 agility and 83 balance so a very good left back very good defending as well. So he's definitely a very all-round winger. Like a wing-back even, I should say. So if you are playing a free... Um 
a 5 at the back formation, he's going to excel even more. I play a 4-5-1, and he's absolutely brilliant in it, and he does push forward quite a lot on the attack. So very happy day, he's a very good player. But anyway, let's go into my last player that I have for you guys, which is actually Ryan Henry, another left back for um, this uh, episode. He does play for Brentford, and he's faster than Sessignon. A lot better player as well, but doesn't have the same potential. 68 starting off. 90 over 90 pace, 91 agility, 88 balance, and his jumping and stamina are above 80 rated. A very good player to actually have in your team, without a doubt. More a very similar player to actually Session Young, very similar height, very similar rating. Both very, very good players. Definitely a player to actually have in your team if you're going to try and master your career mode, especially valued at only a 1.5 million pounds, but a lot more wage, double the wage than Session Young. But anyway, guys, I do have some honorable mentions I would like to talk about right now, which is the likes of Frey, Omoa, Green, Adam. Then we got Dozzle, Wat uh, Watkins, we actually mentioned as well, Gibson, Costa. Carter Vickers, there's lots of players in the championship which have absolutely insane potential. And there's a lot of them that actually have with hardly anything. For example, um, Tevener actually has 85 potential, valued at 500 grand. Hurst as well, 81 potential, valued at 600 grand. Dozzle as well, 84 under a mil. A lot of players under a million pounds, they'd be able to sign for your team with very high rated. But anyway, guys, they are my best players I think you can actually sign in the championship a lot of hidden gems i think there especially the tevener player for middlesbrough if you want to go check that out um, i'll actually put a list of all the players that there are in the description right now but uh, guys of course don't get to subscribe for plenty more blackman rovers cream of course the ac milan cream throughout the week and this time next week we'll be doing another formation breakdown so guys um thanks very much for watching don't forget to subscribe for plenty more videos and guess what i'll see you next time Bye bye